Hello, today I'll be showing integration workflow between Endace and our Fusion partner, IBM Q Radar. IBM Q Radar security intelligence platform provides comprehensive IT security management and with the Endace App Exchange application, enables easy pivots to Endace and always on packet capture solution for detailed network forensics. For this demo, we have Cisco Firepower virtual firewall running on Endace Probe as a hosted application, detecting threats in real time and sending events to IBM Q Radar for comprehensive ITSIM. In parallel, Endace Probe is capturing all the packets for later investigation. Setting the background, you're a security analyst that has been assigned to look into SMB exploits coming from local source IPs. Here, from the IBM Q Radar console, we see a threat and security monitoring dashboard with various panels on it, giving a comprehensive view of your infrastructure security threats. As you investigate, you notice OS Windows, MS Windows, SMB remote code execution as your top alarm signature. To explore further, you drill into the offense list, where you drill down in on an instance of this offense, number 449. Here in the offense summary of 449, you find information on target hosts and sources of the attack, as well as timestamps and the magnitude of the threat. With the Endace app integration, you'll also find a table of investigations to dig deeper with Endace Pivot to Vision Network Packet Capture. Clicking on an investigation link will take the user to the Endace Probe Vision Tool for further drill down to explore the exact packets that showed up as part of the SMB remote code execution attempt. Here in Endace Vision Conversation Panel, you now see all the IP endpoints that are having conversations with host 192.168.3.3. In the traffic view, we see that most of the conversations is SMB traffic, and another conversation is for a DNS query to host 8.8.8.8. From here, we move to Endace packets to drill into the traffic data and analyze deeper into everything that's happening on the network to and from this host. Here, we can look into individual traffic frame numbers and the sequence of execution. Frames 5 and 6 is the normal SMB handshake. Frames 9 through 12 is an anonymous user trying to establish SMB connection with the target host, which is odd. Frame 13 is sending out SMB trans requests with an unusually large block size. The large NT trans request creates a secondary trans request, which acts as a trigger for additional malware. The request data portion contains the malware code and acts as the launcher on the remote machine. This is characteristic of Eternal Blue. We also note the DNS failure server response. This is characteristics of Wanakai kill switch test as we observe the DNS requests for a gibberish domain. The ransomware Wanakai will only encrypt the computer's files if it was unable to connect to that domain. We suspect this malware was downloaded as part of the large SMB transaction. Once infected, the code then scans the entire network on port 445 and spreads as we see many of these 445 port attempts in the packet data, further confirming our suspicions. By using Endace Pro, we can go back in time and replay traffic data around when the first offense was reported to see if any other machine in the network got infected or not. In this demo, we have identified an attack vector, Eternal Blue, using IBM Key Radar, and then have quickly pivoted to Endace to investigate the breadth and depth of the attack, where we further discovered that it has been used to deploy and run WannaCry ransomware on multiple machines in our network. We can take fast remediation action to contain and stop the spread of the malware. I hope you've enjoyed this short video and thank you for watching.